What's up guys, Rolf here for Good Tech, and as you already know, Huawei is adding a new foldable smartphone to its arsenal in the form of the Huawei P50 Pocket. Interestingly, it has a 120Hz 6.9 inch folding OLED panel with support for a 120Hz refresh rate, a Snapdragon 888 processor, and a triple camera setup. So can it hold up against other foldable smartphones in the market? Let's all find out in this review. Okay, let's admit it, it's got almost the same form factor as the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, with a few minor differences, more especially in the cover display. Speaking of the cover display, we have a circular 1.04 inch OLED panel with a resolution of 340 by 340 which translates to 328 ppi, which is very sharp. The cover display shows your notifications or selfies using the primary camera. It's also got chrome accents all around, making it look very posh and chic. The unit we have is in the white colorway, but it also comes in black and premium edition gold. It feels light at 190 grams and it does feel solid, thanks to a mix of steel and glass materials. There's also a jagged pattern at the back resulting in a better grip. When unfolded, on the right side we have the hybrid SIM card slot which can accommodate two SIM cards or one SIM card and Huawei's proprietary nano memory card. On the right side we have the volume button and the fingerprint scanner. Down at the bottom we have the speaker grill and USB Type-C port, while situated at the top is the call microphone. As for the hinge of the Huawei P50 Pocket, it only allows for three positions, closed, fully opened and partially opened at a 90 degree angle, which we find handy when taking TikTok videos. Overall, the Huawei P50 Pocket is a premium and well-made device, although we still recommend putting on a case on it. Huawei didn't mention any water or dust resistance, so extra care is a must. Now when it comes to display in multimedia, opening up the folding display, we are greeted with a large 6.9 inch OLED panel with a resolution of 2790 by 1188 or equals to 442 ppi. It does have a 120Hz refresh rate which provides smooth animations and transitions. The colors are vibrant with deep blacks, sharp text, and nice viewing angles. In addition, you have a 21 by 9 aspect ratio which provides you an immersive viewing experience especially when watching movies that is shot in a wide aspect ratio. Because this is a foldable, a crease can be observed especially if you look at it very closely. We're yet to see if the crease will get worse after several months, it's still looking good. As mentioned earlier, it supports up to 120Hz refresh rate. We don't suggest having it turned on all the time since it will drain your battery a lot. Thankfully, you can opt to have the display set to 60Hz refresh rate or use adaptive display mode instead. Moving over to the cover display, you won't see any difference between it and the main display as they almost share the same panel but with a slightly lower resolution. From here, you can access the camera shortcut so you can quickly take high-res selfies or videos using the main camera without having to unfold the device. You can also read notifications, check on the weather, music controls, and see your appointments on the calendar app. We're hoping Huawei will add more to these in the future. Now when it comes to outdoor legibility, we didn't find any trouble viewing the display since it can produce enough brightness. Also, Huawei added a non-reflective coating to reduce reflection. Now, the Huawei P50 Pocket has a stereo speaker setup. It sounded average, nothing spectacular. It has decent highs and mids but lacks bass, which is common in most smartphones. But overall, it's okay for casual binge-watching contents on the internet, but we still suggest having a pair of good-sounding TWS or wired Type-C headphones on the side to have an immersive viewing experience. Now, checking onto the camera, we're looking at a triple camera setup consisting of a 40 megapixel primary, 13 megapixel ultra wide, and a 32 megapixel ultra spectrum camera. As for selfies, we have a 10.7 megapixel front camera. Quality wise, shots from the 40 megapixel camera will not disappoint and definitely produces nice images in good lighting condition. 
It's quick to focus even with moving subjects, images taken are sharp, colors are punchy but still accurate. HDR is also implemented nicely and only when the scene requires it. Portrait photos are also good, although there are times you will see jagged edges, especially in the hair area which is a common limitation in artificially blurred backgrounds. Low light portraits on the other hand can be a bit of a hit or miss. So make sure to use this feature when lighting is abundant. Huawei smartphones have a good reputation when it comes to low light performance. The camera's night mode feature comes in handy in this scenario and can illuminate dark scenes. Although you will need to keep it steady for a few seconds and let the camera software do its magic. It's not perfect, but you definitely won't end up with unusable night shots. As for the selfies, photos taken using the front camera look okay. Not exactly high risk, but it will do for social media uploads or video calls. It is also susceptible to noise and is slow when shooting in low light. You can use the rear camera instead for better quality. Now when it comes to video, the Huawei P50 Pocket can shoot up to a maximum of 4K at 30 frames per second. To our surprise, videos taken while walking or even on a bumpy car ride look smooth and stabilized thanks to its EIS feature. And just like in images, it can capture plenty of details with accurate colors in HDR. Now software-wise, running on the Huawei P50 Pocket is EMUI 12 with Huawei Mobile Services and App Gallery. You can also get access to Huawei's exclusive features such as Huawei Share and multi-screen collaboration if you own other Huawei devices. And you can still sideload Android apps not found on the App Gallery. Now checking out the interface, there's not a lot of adjustments as it's like any other smartphone that uses a tall screen. There's a lot of pre-installed apps right out of the box. It's a bit inconvenient as you have to remove them manually if you have no use for them. Out of the 256 gigs of internal storage, we got a usable of 213 gigs, which is more than enough for heavy users. But if this isn't enough, you can expand it using a Huawei proprietary NM card for up to another 256 gigs of storage. Under the hood, the Huawei P50 Pocket sports a Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 4G chipset coupled with an Adreno 660 GPU. Memory-wise, it's available in 8 gigs of RAM plus 256 gigs of internal storage or 12 gigs of RAM plus 512 gigs configuration. Given the flagship hardware, it runs smoothly in most tasks we throw at it, including taking photos, videos, heavy social media browsing, and gaming. It gets warm though after playing for a while but not to the point that it comes very uncomfortable. One issue that we encountered though is when switching between apps. There are times that it feels sluggish and some apps tends to restart. We don't think that it is a hardware issue though and we suspect it can be an issue with the software which we hope can be fixed with an update. We run our usual benchmark apps and here's what we got. Now when it comes to connectivity, the Huawei P50 Pocket features Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, multiband GPS, USB-C, and 4G LTE. Yes, sadly, this device doesn't support 5G, which is a downer if you need this type of connection. As for the battery, it comes equipped with a 4000 mAh capacity with 40 watt fast charging and 5 watt reverse wired charging. No wireless charging here, although we can charge it up from 0 to 100 in just 40 minutes, which is fast. PC Mark's battery test rated the battery 9 hours and 18 minutes, and we run it in our standard video loop test, which entails running a 1080p video on loop at 50% brightness, 0% volume, and airplane mode turned on, and we got 14 hours of playback. These results are both decent and can definitely last you a day when used casually, but if you are a heavy user, expect to charge it at least two times a day. Now to conclude this video, the Huawei P50 Pocket is not Huawei's first folding smartphone, although this is its first folding smartphone to support a clamshell design. If you dig this design, then you have another alternative to the likes of the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. It has a beautiful design, a good cameras, and it's got a nice display too, but we're yet to see how it handles creasing over time. What will probably keep interested buyers from getting this is the lack of 5G and Google apps. The latter concern can be solved with a workaround, 
but it might be cumbersome to those who just want Google to work right away. The Huawei P50 Pocket starts at 69,999 pesos and if you pre-order starting February 4 to 17, you will get a free Huawei Watch 3 worth 18,999 pesos. What are your thoughts about the Huawei P50 Pocket? Let us know in the comment section below and if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yougatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Arel and we'll catch you guys in the next one.